Go ahead, it'll pull. Nice tree. That's a nice one. Good. Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Whoa! <laughs> to fishing 24-7. Wow, well, it's been a long time, you know. I'm, I'm feeling so good now. Usually, you know, when I go fishing, for me, I'm happy. It's like normal for me, but today is very special for me. It's been four months uh, since the last time I went fishing. Uh, and as all of you know, I got COVID and I have a very long uh, recovery. I'm, I'm still not at my baseline, you know, I'm like, 70%, 80%, but I have to get out here and uh, go fishing. I have to feel good about myself, you know. But anyway, uh, we are launching out of Oyster Point today. A very calm day today. Uh, very nice day, a little bit, uh, uh, you know, overcast. But anyway, behind the camera is Lewis, as always. We have uh, Troy. Hey, everyone. Yeah, uh, so that's uh, us today. So, uh, okay guys, just follow us. Uh, hopefully we are catching something today. Uh, this is our first trip to the, to, uh, the Oyster Point. Uh, it's been slow, so hopefully we are hooking to some fish today. I, I want to uh, uh, show you my setup, okay? Uh, I have a different kind of setup for halibut, but uh, my favorite one is uh, sliding, uh, sliding uh, setup, sliding sinker like you you go for stur sturgeon, right? I have a one foot drop, okay, for the weight, okay? So I use a, a eight ounce because I'm, I'm drifting. Uh, the current is uh, very good, so I'm going to drift. So this is an outgoing uh, tide. Uh, so the current is very strong, so I'm going to drift instead of trolling. And then from here, I hook up into a leader. Uh, this is a 30 pound line, okay? Uh, so the total, the total length of the my leader about five feet. Okay. Now let me show you down here. I have a, a hoochie, okay? So I have a swivel right here. So it stops the hoochie, okay? Uh, right here. And then from here to here about uh, one, one, one feet, about uh, 12 inches. You can do 18 inches. You can do uh, up here. It doesn't matter. For me, it doesn't matter. Okay, now down here, I have a, uh, a sliding hook, okay? I have a J hook here, and then I have a tremble hook, the trailer hook. Okay, for me, right, usually I use uh, the fishing line to wrap, to use uh, they call it a snail knot, to uh, right here. But for me, I use, uh, uh, I use the, the, uh, uh, the magic, magic thread, see? I use the magic thread to tie the, the hook right here okay you can do like 20 25 times okay the reason that you match a thread because when you move move up and down move the, the hook 
up and down, it won't damage your, your main leader. Okay? Right here. So you can you can move move the hook. See it? You can move the hook uh, up and down depend on your bay. If your bay is small, you move it down. Okay? That is my setup right here. So I love the magic thread. Okay? Let me show you how to hook up the anchovy. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, you have to make the anchovy spin. Okay? Usually I love to use uh, heron, but I don't have heron. So I use my anchovy. Okay? So what, what you need to do, you hook uh, the J hook here into the head of the anchovy. Okay, guys? Right this. And then you have to have the hook all the way to the tail because the halibut is very picky. They usually, most of the time, they take the tail. Okay? So, so what I do is I tie. Okay? I tie not many, I tie about five, six times on the tail. Okay? Make sure the hook is stay there. And then just a few times here, not too much. All the way to the head. And then on the head, you do about 10 times. Make sure it stay on the, the hook. And then you loop it, you tie it two times. Okay, now the trick right here. Okay, this is a straight anchovy. If you throw, it just go like this. It don't spin. What you need to do, you bend the, the anchovy. You see it? You bend it, and then you pull the line. You see it? You pull the line like this. Anchovy stay like that all day. Okay, so so the two hook and the magic thread keep the anchovy curve. Now the trick right here, if you throw, okay, if you throw, very important. So when you go with the current, you throw faster, so your bait can spin. Okay, when you throw against the current, you go slower. You go about 1.5, and your bait spin fast faster because you go against the current. The current go this way. Your bait go this way, so your bait spin faster. So you don't have to throw fast when you go against the, the current. Okay, guys? So that's in my setup. Now, let me talk about very important thing that I learned over the year about halibut fishing. You have to use the uh, very light tackle, okay? For me today, I use the Ugly Stick uh, GX2. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a medium light, okay? The action is medium light. You see it? Now, let me show you the tip, the tip of the, the, the rod. You see how flexible? That's what you need for the halibut, okay? What I've learned is if you use a, a stiff, stiff rod, you have a lot of scratch bait, scratch. That means when the halibut, they take your anchovy, if you have a stiff rod, they, most of the time, they take and they let it go, okay? For the, for the sensitive rod, most of the time, they will hang on to the anchovy. Okay, so for me, I always use a very light action tip. Okay, so that's in my setup, okay? So, uh, you know, and when I trip, I don't use a heavy weight. I use six ounce or, or, or less. Okay, this is eight ounce. But you, you can use uh, uh, a light weight. Okay, you don't have to use, when you throw, it's about uh, 12 to uh, 1 pound. Okay, guys? Let's do it. Hopefully, we catch a halibut for me today. Yeah. When you uh, trip or throw for halibut, make sure when it touches the bottom, okay, make sure it's just bouncing up and down. Okay? You don't want to let your line too far out because you don't want to track your your weight on the bottom okay you see that guy that's how you want to uh, your rod okay it's bounce up and down like that Man, right away, huh? That was fast. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna baby this one. Just keep the 
tension on it. Uh, it, 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 it it's uh, tangled with your. Yeah. Oh, no. So yeah, if it. if needed, you you uh, let loose. Let loose. Uh, yeah, just let yours loose. Yeah. Okay, it'll pull. That's a nice one. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gap. Okay, that's enough. Right here, over here. Mission right here. 23. 23. Oh wow, 23. Yeah. 23. Nice. Okay guys, so I'm trolling right now. The current is not strong anymore. You see my bait? This is how, how I curve my bait. And you see how it spin? So the halibut love it when you, the, the, the bait is spinning, okay? Uh, it, it, it's like a, an angel, uh, in Jovi. Man, he swallow it. He pull it up and then uh
Hey everyone, so we are back. Okay, so uh, today is a very good day for us. Um, you know, we caught two halibut uh, very early in the morning. In an hour, we caught two nice, one is 28, one is 23. So, and then after that, it's, it's uh, shut down. I think we, uh, we caught it uh, on the uh, top of the outgoing tide. And um, we caught it straight out of the oyster point in the 21 feet of water. So, uh, yeah, so just to let you know, you know, I'm, I'm very happy I can go out today with my friend jo uh, Troy and uh, Louis. Uh, a little tired, but uh, manageable. I don't do anything, I just let Louis and Troy uh, do all the work, ruin up all the fish. Uh, a little tired, but, uh, but I'm good. I'm, I feel very good, feel very blessed that uh, you know I can uh, I can go fishing again and uh, you know and uh, also have an opportunity to talk to you guys uh, so uh, you guys take care stay healthy stay safe and uh, safe fishing okay and hopefully I will see you out there okay guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video Chewy time thank you bye